गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर नंबर इलेवन हाउ टू लिव इन रिलेशनशिप सो स्टूडेंट्स बेसिकली फ्रॉम लेक्चर नंबर एट वी आर ट्राइंग टू स्टडी वेरियस फार्मूलेशन गिवन इन ट्रेडिशन दैट टेल एस हाउ टू बी हाउ टू एंश्योर हारमोनी इन माई सेल्फ हाउ टू लिव इन रिलेशनशिप विथ अदर्स सो इन दिस सीरीज In lecture number eight, we studied eightfold path given by Buddha. Then, in lecture nine, we studied yam and niyam from Patanjali Yoga Sutra. And in lecture number ten, we studied another formulation that is wealth, wishes, natural laws, and liberation. And now, in this lecture number eleven. we are going to study another formulation that is non possessiveness affection knowledge simplicity and fearlessness so let's see how this formulation is going to help us to live a fulfilling life <clears throat> so non possessive means you can say non accumulation or avoiding accumulation so non accumulation literally means lack of accumulation accumulation refers to collecting unnecessary items from the perspective of profit and consumption so non accumulation refers to income for expenditure that is we produce and store those physical facilities only those physical facilities that we need which we have to ensure for the purpose of right utilization and not otherwise so to live with non accumulation means to produce facilities only in the sense of right utilization right expenditure and putting them to use so if there is anything extra and is remaining after we can share with others with the feeling of affection so non accumulation means using the things in a right manner ensuring required physical facilities only so we store those things that is our real need it means we are avoiding those these things that are not my need this is basically non accumulation so we can say there are three advantages just of non accumulation non possessiveness so let's try to understand what are those advantages so first is if we follow this non accumulation non possessiveness first we can achieve that we avoid exploitation of natural resources because under the mindset of accumulation all the facilities that we produce which we collect unnecessarily and keep in the house come from rest of the nature you can see around you whatever physical facility you have whatever things materialistic things around you you have are coming basically from nature that is from different orders material order bio order animal order all these are orders are contributing for this physical facility or we can say these are our natural resources so the more facilities we accumulate with us the more our natural resources are exploited so if i am not clear about my real need and i am accumulating again and again it means i am exploiting nature knowingly or unknowingly so if I, do i don't have clarity about self and body i don't have clarity about real needs i don't have feeling of sayam so i try to use my body as a source of happiness and i start accumulating things around me and that results in exploitation of nature so therefore by living with non accumulation we do not become an unnecessary burden on natural resources natural assets and the rate at which they are produced we consume in that manner in that proportion so this is the advantage of non accumulation 
द अनदर एडवांटेज ऑफ लिविंग विथ नॉन एक्यूमलेशन इज दैट फैसिलिटीज आर अवेलेबल फॉर द कॉमन पीपल इन द सोसाइटी सो इफ विथ इफ वी लिव विथ टेंडेंसी ऑफ नॉन एक्यूमलेशन सो फिजिकल फैसिलिटीज बिकम्स अवेलेबल फॉर रेस्ट ऑफ द पीपल इन द सोसाइटी बिकॉज ऑल द फैसिलिटीज विच वी कलेक्ट आर नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर यूज इन द सोसाइटी सो इफ वी आर एक्यूमलेटिंग मोर एंड मोर थिंग्स इट मीन्स देर आर मैनी पीपल्स हु आर डिप्राइव ऑफ दोज थिंग्स सो वेन वी लिव विद द टेंडेंसी ऑफ नॉन एक्यूमलेशन इट मीन्स थिंग्स बिकम अवेलेबल फॉर कॉमन पीपल अदर पीपल इन द सोसाइटी इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से सोसाइटी इज डिप्राइव्ड ऑफ दोज रिसोर्सेज फैसिलिटीज if we accumulate things so even from today's perspective it is necessary to have facilities in the society for the economy to run smoothly if we store or hold those facilities we do not share those facilities with others then people do not get facilities for their use and the lack of physical facilities are felt artificially so we can say that living with non accumulation we are able to provide necessary facilities to the people in this form we live in a mutual relationship at the same time we live with the rest of nature in a self organized manner and can fulfill our complementarity with human being and rest of the nature okay students or in other words we can say to live with non accumulation means we need to have production of the physical facilities righteously so the first step is to ensure non accumulation is to identify the requirements and produce them systematically so if i want to live with non accumulation the first important point is i should be able to recognize to identify my real needs and i should have knowledge of production while ensuring mutual enrichment with rest of nature and the second step is to ensure the right utilization this is very important thing i should be knowing about right utilization what is right utilization of physical facilities what are the placement of physical facilities while interacting with human being while living in society and then the third step is to offer the rest of the facilities to society for its development so in nutshell we can say three things are required number 1 ensuring identifying real needs and systematic production system systematic production system means those production system which are helpful in enriching rest of the nature second step is to ensure right utilization and third step is to offer the more physical facilities or rest of the physical facilities for societal development thus all the formulations you can see you can investigate are interconnected living with the feeling of non accumulation and non stealing ensures the required utilization of the pro- product right utilization of the product by offering the rest of products for the welfare of the society in short our life gets organized in terms of physico chemical things by living with non accumulation so we can say there are three basic advantage of non possessiveness number 1 there is no unnecessary exploitation of nature with the non accumulation with non possessiveness now i am no more burden on physical resources on nature second thing things become available for the other people if i live with non accumulation and third thing preservation and enrichment of natural resources happens naturally so when i once i am able to identify my needs once i am able to right utilize the things then preservation and enrichment of natural resources becomes natural so these are the outcome these are the advantages of living 
with non accumulation tendencies so non possessiveness non accumulation doesn't mean that we don't use things no it doesn't mean that we will not use things what it means it means that we use things in the right sense rather than to misuse them even if we are not over using things not indulging in their use and just accumulating things then these things are not available for use by others in the society so it is natural for physical things to slowly destroy it so in nutshell there are three advantage of living with tendency of non accumulation and non accumulation doesn't mean that we have not to use things we have to use things according to our need in the right sense so hope i hope you have understood this non possessiveness non accumulation you can pause this video for 2 minutes and explore in yourself investigate in yourself are you living with tendency of non accumulation have you identified your real needs do you right realize the resources and can you see that most of the problem of the society is because of living with the tendency of accumulation and if we go through this formulation we can live with tendency of non accumulation which will benefit the welfare of society which will be in welfare of the society so this is advantages of non possessiveness so let's start let's move towards another component of this formulation that is affection so affection means you have studied this feeling of affection in which we too so affect, affection means to accept the other as being related interrelated interconnected interdependent and to live with the feeling of relationship so with exploration with access of my natural acceptance i am able to see interconnectedness interrelatedness with others so once i feel interrelatedness with others once i feel relatedness with others this is a feeling of affection so affection refers to accepting another human being as relative when i accept in this manner we fulfill our obligation and duty with commitment so affection refers to see others connected with us and on this basis we are committed towards our duties and obligation through self motivation now it becomes natural for me to fulfill my all duty and obligations with the feeling of affection so by living affectionately it becomes fulfilling for us to live in mutual interaction with humans so when we practice non accumulation we become conscious in terms of living with the rest of the nature again when we practice affection our idea of living in relationship with another human being becomes self regulated in this way if our consciousness if our conscious activities run on the basis of two it means non accumulation and affection then we do not think of exploiting the rest of nature okay so if we understand this non accumulation and affection then exploitation of nature and rest of the human being is not possible in fact i become complement for human being and rest of the nature i can not think of exploiting the others so the other also feels comfortable and uncomfortable and unhappy if we do not live with feeling of affection if there is a lack of fulfillment so with the feeling of affection with the clarity of non accumulation i can or i become complement to human being and rest of nature 
सो नाउ आई एम एबल टू फुलफिल माई ऑल ड्यूटीज एंड ऑब्लिगेशन टूवर्ड्स नेचर एंड ह्यूमन बींग विच इज एक्सपेक्टेड इन सोसाइटी सो मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द सोसाइटी इज बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ अफेक्शन लैक ऑफ फीलिंग ऑफ अफेक्शन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ टेंडेंसी ऑफ एक्यूमुलेटिंग थिंग्स मोर एंड मोर सो इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस फॉर्मुलेशन इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस नॉन एक्यूमुलेशन अफेक्शन देन हारमोनियस environment can be ensured in the society so the basic principle of ascertaining the feeling of affection is to look at others connected to us in this sense instead of accepting the feelings from others we should primarily focus on ensuring the feeling within myself so at the level of physical facilities we should be ready to fulfill the needs of our relative as we are to fulfill our requirements living affectionately makes our living harmonious with other human beings so the feeling of non possession and affection makes our living organized and complementary now we can live with our family society and nature in a self organized manner or we can say the practice of these two makes our living with human beings and the rest of nature in a mutually fulfilling manner now if you look around you if you look at your unhappiness look at the problems of family and society most of them are observed in the absence of these two aspects absence of this feeling of affection absence of this clarity of non accumulation so the practice of non possession and affection brings harmony in our thoughts and we can focus our minds on studying understanding and practicing the realities of this existence and in the absence of this most of the time most of our time our energy goes in contradictions and we are not able to focus on the reality we are not able to focus on our natural acceptance because we have now we are now engaged in those negative things so with the feeling of affection with the feeling of non accumulation now i can think of my participation towards society and rest of nature okay i hope you are able to understand this affection and its importance in a fulfilling life so all these formulations are basically helping us to understand a process so that all of us can live in a harmonious man manner in this society okay let's move another component of this formulation that is knowledge right understanding so knowledge means right understanding so knowledge refers to see reality as it is so if our feeling thought or on the base of basis of right understanding then we are able to create conducive environment by living with non possessiveness and affection so knowledge refers to see the reality as it is and when i see the reality as it is we get rid of all kinds of illusions based on this knowledge based on this realization of reality now we we can see realities in their natural form presently what we are doing we mix our incorrect perspective knowingly or unknowingly while looking at the realities and once we mix our perspective with reality either we over evaluate the reality or under evaluate the reality so what is the way to come out from this situation is the knowledge the way is the knowledge the way is to see the reality as it is understand the reality as it is so we on the basis of knowledge we evaluate each other correctly and all our activities runs 
on the basis of reality and we become helpful in society now with the knowledge we get rid of this over evaluation and under evaluation with this knowledge now we are able to see and understand the reality correctly while living with non accumulation and affection so this feeling of affection non accumulation with knowledge help us to live in harmony and also help us to see my participation for rest of society for rest of nature okay friends so let's move towards next next component of this formulation that is simplicity so based on the knowledge we can get rid of all types of pride and ego once we understand reality our living gets self organized so living egolessly living with right understanding is simplicity it means i am living free of ego free of over evaluation under evaluation i am living in harmony according to law of coexistence i am living in harmony according to natural laws this is simplicity now i am able to see myself as a interconnected part of this existence now i am clear about my participation in this existence so this living is simplicity and if we do not see this if we do not understand the realities correctly then knowingly or un unknowingly we become victim of our ego because of over evaluation then we start under evaluating others so over evaluation means when i over evaluate myself i accept myself higher excellent than the other and when we live with such an over evaluation of ourselves this tendency is recognized as a tendency of ego ego means taking you form force wealth position as superior to others so in the absence of this ego our living becomes simple natural so to live with self organization based on the knowledge is living with simplicity to so what are the indicators of this simplicity number 1 <clears throat> feeling of natural comfort fulfillment within me so i feel comfortable naturally in myself and naturally fulfilling behavior and relationship with no excitement no pride no ego because i know this is my participation i know this is my duty and obligation now i am participating with human being and rest of nature free from ego and excitement so this is simplicity and you can see for a harmonious society simplicity in everyone is required affection in everyone required non accumulation in everyone is required okay so after this simplicity let's move towards next component of this formulation that is fearlessness so fearlessness when we follow non possessiveness affection knowledge simplicity its natural outcome is being free from fear within and free from fear from others so in absence of this fearlessness we suffer from many kind of fear we suffer from the fear of losing one's life we suffer from fear of losing one's position fear of losing one's respect fear of losing one's wealth fear of getting the body destroyed so we suffer from all these fears in that sense of fearlessness 
सो वंस वी अंडरस्टैंड नॉन पॉजिटिवनेस अफेक्शन नॉलेज सिंप्लिसिटी सी दिस फियरलेसनेस बिकम्स नेचुरल फॉर अस हाउ फियर फियर ऑफ लूजिंग वंस लाइफ विद द नॉलेज आई नो आई एम कॉन्शियस यूनिट आई एम कंटिन्यूस ओनली बॉडी इज डिग्रेडिंग and i am continuous so i become free of fear of losing one's life similarly one's position now i know what is real source of my happiness now i am living with feeling of affection with simplicity with non accumulation so i don't have any fear of losing my position similarly fear of losing one's respect because i am living on the basis of knowledge on the basis of realizing this existence now i am rightly evaluate everyone everything of this existence so now i don't have fear of losing my respect similarly i know my needs i know how much i need to run my body to body of my relatives i also know how to do production with rest of nature so this knowledge makes me free from losing wealth fear of losing wealth so understanding this component this fearlessness becomes natural so when we have a continuous feeling of assurance about the existence on the basis of continuous self awareness we are able to see that there is nothing in this existence to lose i am not going to lose i am continuous natural resources are available to me because there are cyclic process so nothing is going to lose formation deformation is going on in material world i have knowledge i have seen reality i know that in material formation and deformation is will go continuously so my body is formed at one time my body body will deform at one time there is no meaning of fear it is natural process it is happening in this existence now i am free from losing of my body similarly the world of consciousness is not governed by this world of consciousness is governed by my knowledge my feeling so if i am able to see the reality as it is my consciousness becomes happy i am happy in my consciousness it's a natural process similarly whatever is really required for any unit is always available in existence because there is a cyclic process there is a mutual attachment in nature so everything is always available to everyone if we understand this formulation so with this formulation of non possessiveness affection knowledge simplicity and fearlessness the life may be lived in a fulfilling manner with this understanding there is a harmony in the society with this understanding we become cooperative for each other with this understanding we are able to see my participation with each other so by this way this formulation gives us a way to live a fulfilling life by this manner the formulation gives us a way to ensure harmonious social structures so this formulation is basically help us to understand harmonious life and harm and our participation for harmonious society so let's sum up the formulation so we studied non possessiveness it means non accumulation avoiding the accumulation so non possessiveness does not mean that we will not use things it means we will use things in right sense with their proper placement so there are three advantages that we studied of non possessiveness non accumulation that is one we can fulfill our needs by way of the right utilization things are available for use by others in the society 
if we understand this non accumulation and preservation and enrichment of natural resources gets ensured then we study affection to accept other as a relative then we study knowledge to see the reality as it is then we studied simplicity get rid of all types of pride and ego and finally fearlessness so if we understand this formulation this formulation is going to help us to live in harmony continuously and also to ensure harmony in society and with rest of nature so all the formulation that we have studied are basically help us to visualize a harmonious society are basically help us to live in harmony within myself so within myself and also to ensure harmony outside so all these formulations are made in tradition to ensure our harmonious life to ensure a conducive environment for a fulfilling life i hope you have understood all this formulation so that's all from my side friends let's meet in another lecture till now you can investigate you can explore whether this formulation is helpful to you or not whether this formulation is helpful for harmonious society or not for any question you may mail me thank you very much